Good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Ken Porat, and I'm the CEO of Endobetics. Endobetics is developing a minimal invasive solution for the treatment of type 2 diabetes. I'd like to share with you some uh, pretty alarming numbers. There are over 500 million people around the world suffering from obesity, and over 300 million suffering from type 2 diabetes. If you combine the two, we estimate today over 63 million people suffering from diabetes or type 2 diabetes, which is a result of overweight and obesity. Now, if you look at the option treatments available for these patients, you will see that there's a huge gap. On the one hand, we have drugs. Drugs are they're safe, easy to use, but they're not very effective in the long run, and they also have a lot of side effects. On the other side, we have bariatric surgery. And bariatric surgery was originally designed to treat obesity, but there's basically there's tremendous cl clinical evidence that show that bariatric surgery basically resolves type 2 diabetes. But it's surgery. It's expensive, it's, it's risky, and it's not suitable for all patients. So as you can see, between these two the treatment options on the extreme, there's a huge gap in the middle. And this gap is waiting to be filled, to filled by a minimal invasive solution that will be safe, easy to implement, and cost effective. Now, Endobetics is, deve is developing such a device. We're developing a minimal invasive device that is implanted endoscopically in the small intestine. You can see a small picture of the device here on the right-hand side. Once implanted, the device basically diverts the bile fluids and prevents those fluids from mixing with the partly digested food. Now, I would like to show you a, a short animation of how the device works. Oops. Sorry. Here you can see in the animation the basic anatomy and how the device is implanted endoscopically. Now once the device is fully extracted, as you can see here, it collects the bile fluids, which are represented here by these green dots that you will see in a minute. For some reason, it stopped working. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. For some reason, it's not working. I'll continue without the animation. Basically, the device that you see here collects the bile fluids that come from this little point called the papilla into a small funnel and then into a tube. And what we get as a result, like I said before, is a separation between the bile fluids and the partly digested food. The result of this separation is, <coughs> is a hormonal change, a hormonal change that leads to resolution of type 2 diabetes and also improved in weight gain. Now, we've conducted uh, a large number of preclinical pig studies to show the safety and the efficacy of the device. We've also presented the device to key opinion leaders, uh, both uh, endoscopic GI experts and bariatric surgeons, and we got very good response from them. Uh, a word about the market. As I mentioned before, 63 million people is a very large population. Even a 25% acceptance of this kind of population, the market potential is way over $10 billion. This, no surprise, we see a, lot, a large number of companies trying to enter this market, both small startups, but also larger medical device companies. Uh, Endobetics was founded 18 months ago, and since its inception, we've developed a prototype, conducted successful uh, preclinical studies, and we also have three patents pending in different states of registration. Companies managed by a very experienced managerial team. We cover the business side, clinical side, um, regulatory, and of course the technology side. Uh, the company is backed by world-class 
advisory board with doctors from Israel, the Netherlands, and the US. We have physicians from Harvard, from Cleveland Clinics, and a few other locations. Endobetics is currently raising one and a half million dollars. This will take us through a first in human study. So to summarize, uh, Endobetics is developing a device for a huge market with a very clear need. We've completed the development of the prototype and we've conducted successful preclinical studies. Thank you.